Amid new gun violence concerns, Wisconsin lawmakers are considering loosening state concealed carry laws, which would allow people to carry without, a, which allow people to carry without a permit. But part of the bill allowing felons to own antique firearms is raising some concerns. News 3's Brittany Paris explains. Brittany. Under current law, felons in Wisconsin can't own firearms for the rest of their lives. But this bill would make it legal for them to have guns as long as they were made before 1899. But domestic violence groups say it's a dangerous provision. In 2008, Sarah Engel decided to leave her boyfriend of three years. It was an abusive relationship she tried to get out of several times before. I went and stayed with my mom for the next three weeks. Engel says the last conversation she had with James LaHoud was a bitter one, and he told her he'd make her pay. He broke into her home. He um, found the rifle that she had, that she had hidden in the house, and um, he murdered her. Engel says after killing her mom with her own antique rifle, LaHoud waited for Engel to get home. Right underneath my eye, um, I was shot. Well, I was in a coma for about a month. Engel says her survival should show the dangers of a proposed bill, relaxing the state's gun laws. The bill from Senator David Craig and state rep Mary Felskowski would not only allow people to carry concealed guns without a permit, a clause in there makes it legal for anyone, including felons, to own antique guns. Federal law considers firearms made before 1899 antique. They are out there. Um, there are functioning ones, there are non-functioning ones. Deerfield pistol and archery manager Brett Fankhauser says most gun shops don't sell antique guns and the ammo is hard to find. The calibers are odd and indifferent. They know they're typically not the modern cartridges nowadays, so the ammo is hard to come by. Still, Fankhauser says a gun is a gun. Anything's possible. It's still a gun, right? I mean, it's still going to do what it does as long as it functions. Senator Craig and Representative Felskowski did not return our request for comment today. The bill cleared the Senate's Judiciary and Public Safety Committee last month. Brittany Paris in our news center. Brittany, thank you.